Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to store the next Python list with two keys, but the last key is going to be in reverse order. All right, so here's my uh, data set, or my data abja, the abja data. And this is a pretty common problem, but I noticed that not a lot of people knows how to perform search tests. So here, if we look at the criteria, I want to store my data data set by the second element from A to Z, then by the third element from C to A. So essentially, I want to uh, show my list or my next list using the second element first. If the values are tied, then I want to use the third element to perform the comparison. So essentially, my expect output is going to look like this. So company D should go first, company A, company C, and company B. Now here let me insert the sorted function and I'll insert my uh, data object. Now if I simply just print the output, and it's going to give us the order from company A, B, C, and D. And this is going to be different from the expect output. And to fix that, we can provide a key to uh, simplify the sorting logic. Here we can use the Lombarda function and we're going to have one parameter. Let's call this parameter uh, v. By default, we use the sort function. The sorting order is going to be from A to Z. And to specify the sorting order for different elements, so here we can uh, insert a tuple, followed by my argument value, which is going to be v. And since we have uh, two elements that want to perform the comparison, the first argument is going to be the key we want to apply to the second element. The second argument is going to be the key we want to apply to the third element. So for the first argument, I'm simply just going to insert one, indicating I want to sort by the second element. And for the third element, since I want to sort in reverse order, I want to insert the minus symbol to indicating that I want to reverse the sorting, and that's it. Now if I print the output, and this time it's giving me the correct output, we have company D in the first position, then company A, company C, and company B. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.